I didn't really think that research was something that was applicable to me. I pictured that research was for people that were going to graduate school or that were just interested in that sort of thing. But really, I came to understand that research isn't just for people that want a PhD, it's for even people like me that are interested in going into industry just after college. I first got involved in research after my freshman year. There's a program here at Rose Holman that invites undergraduates to do undergraduate research. I had learned about that through my faculty advisor. She had recommended me for the project, so I got involved. I first got involved with research as I was finishing up my freshman year because I didn't have an internship opportunity and there had been no one who had picked up the research yet, so I was able to do research over the summer. I first got involved in research in my sophomore year. Last year, an outside company came to Rose Holman and was looking for one or two undergraduate students to examine and look at one of the products that the company had just created. I submitted an application to work with that company, and I, along with another undergraduate student, was chosen to work on that project. I didn't think I would be able to as a freshman. I didn't even think I would be able to as an undergraduate student. But being a freshman alone, I was really shocked when I was able to have the opportunity to do undergraduate research. I think undergraduate research is absolutely key, particularly for students who think they might want to go into a field where they have to use their creativity. Being involved in research as an undergrad has allowed me to explore my passions deeper. Initially, I wanted to be a civil engineer to do structural engineering. My research has made me realize I want to do water systems. It really makes me feel great that I can dive deeper into problems that are of interest to me. The problem that I've been working on this year has been related to pharmaceuticals, which is a direct interest um, that I want to do. A lab is very hands-on. I can see what's happening, see how what I am changing affects my product, which is something that you don't normally get to see in the classroom. You really get to do hands-on work with things that you're actually really passionate about and things that you want to end up doing with your career. If you don't start right now, you'll never know whether you are going to enjoy the field that you are going to pursue in future or not. It's not just about preparing for a job, it's about finding what you want to do. It's just as important to know what you want to do than it is to just go out there and just maybe get a job with something you might want to do. Looking from an outside perspective could be intimidating, but don't be afraid to dive into that and step foot into something that might not seem like it would be the easiest thing or it might not seem like you would be good at it. Just taking that step forward um, and going into that area of just kind of unknown and just not really knowing what to expect or if you'll be good at it, that's really the beginning of where you grow. I would say if you have any thought in your head that you want to do research or something along those lines, you should just go do it. If you really have something that you're passionate about, don't even think twice about it, just go and do it. Don't let fear stop you from doing things that you love. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Your professors want to work with you. I have worked on a research project where I didn't know any of the baseline chemical engineering and my professor walked me through all of the information I needed to know. If you're an undergraduate and you don't take advantage of the research opportunities on your campus, one of the big things that you're missing out on is the opportunity to see what sorts of things you can do with your degree. There are a lot of students who don't quite understand all of the things that you can do with your particular undergraduate program until you get into the laboratory. And until you get into the laboratory and see how all of those things apply to the real world, you won't know that. But ultimately, it's just for people that are looking to have a hands-on experience, really find an outlet for their curiosity um, and learn new ways of thinking.